All right. God bless you. Greetings to each and every one of you wonderful people. We're glad to be back with you one more time. My God, thank God our camera on our laptop is fixed now. And it was something simple, but I'm not computer literate. But the Lord allowed me to mess around with it and fiddle around with it until he showed me just what to do and what to hit. Well, praise God. Well, we thank God we're back. Now, are you in the right church? How do you know you're in the right church? I'm Baptist, I'm Catholic, I'm Methodist, I'm Holy Witness, I'm Church of Christ, I'm Church of God in Christ, I'm Apostolic Faith, I'm Lutheran, whatever. I'm non nominated whatever. I don't go to a building, whatever. Uh, are you in the right church? How to know you're in the right church? No church. Wait, hold on, no. Let, let me show you what's going to happen with the church you in. Let me show you what's going to happen. Hallelujah. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so glad. Let me show you what's going to happen to the church you in. Oh. And the earth shall melt with the fervent heat. Second Peter. Chapter 3. Begin reading verse 10. Revelation chapter 19. And 11, Revelation chapter 21 and 5. Second Peter 3 10. Whatever church you belong to down on this earth is going to pass away. First John 2 and uh, 17. And the world pass away and the lust thereof. But he, he not your bill, and not your church. <laughs> but he that do the will of the Father shall abide with him. Are you in the right yet? The church you we ain't gonna pack. Church God Christ is gonna burn up. Baptist is gonna burn up. Pastor is gonna burn up. Baptist, Methodist, none of the nation, Muslim, Hindu, whatever, is gonna burn up. My God, the church is not your building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you in the right yet? Go to Matthew. Let's examine your church. I think I want 1618. Uh, oh. Matthew 16, uh, 18. Jesus said, And I say unto you that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Then he say, And I will give thee the keys to the kingdom. Jesus church is the kingdom of God. The right church is the kingdom of God. Oh, hallelujah. All right. Look at that with time. Well, that's chapter 20. Hallelujah. Oh, that's 20. Hallelujah. Yeah. See what the right church you in. Act 20 and verse 28. Take ye therefore unto yourself and to all, all the flock over which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers to feed the church of God which he purchased with his own blood. Your bill was purchased with money. Jesus the church is purchased with his blood. All right, Matthew 26, 
verse 20 said, Jesus said, this is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. First John chapter 1, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses of all sin. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus church is present with his own blood. Jesus church is the kingdom. Are you in the kingdom? Mark chapter 1, verse 15. Jesus said, Hallelujah, repent ye, and I'm giving you scripture. He said, repent ye and believe the gospel. Repent. If you have repented, you're not in the right yet. If you got sin, you ain't in the right yet. I mean, I seen in Jesus said, all right, Corinthians chapter 3, you God build, your body the temple of the Holy Ghost. Whoever destroys the temple, him will God destroy. All right, my God today. Hallelujah, come out from among me, self. Love, 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 love. Are you in the right church? If you ain't in G until you're not in the right church. Okay, E.P. to chapter 5. You got seen? Yeah, you ain't in G until. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Whoopee. Ephesians chapter 5. Look at that with Tom. In verse 27, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that it should be holy and without blemish. That's Jesus said, yeah. all right, in the book of Revelation chapter 2, chapter 3, Jesus had the apostle to write to the churches and let them know, five of the churches, I know I got something against you, repent, or else I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Repent, or else I'm going to get put you out of the church. Are you in the right church? Oh, you got to say you ain't in the right church. You preaching the law still require you ain't in the right yet. He put the church with his blood, not the blood of your sacrifice, the animal sacrifice. You tied it off. He the priest, not the pastor. Are you in the right yet? You got sin. You ain't in the right yet. You won't repent. You ain't in the right yet. You so you preach the soul seed for a miracle. You ain't in the right yet. Ain't nobody without sin. We all got sin. We fall short every day. You ain't in the right yet. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. How you got the Holy Ghost and you acting unholy. How you led by the Holy Ghost, led by the Spirit of God, born of water and spirit. He said, he said, those that are led by the Spirit, he gives the power to become the Son of God. The Spirit ain't leading you to sin. The Spirit ain't leading you to tell lies in the pulpit. The Spirit ain't leading you to say tithes are still required. Sow a seed for your miracle. Increase your seed so you can get a better harvest. The seed ain't the, the 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 spirit ain't telling you that. Are you in the right church? The church is not temporal, not this building. Jesus, I build my church. Now the, the temple is already built, but Jesus said, "I build my church." <laughs> and Jesus, church is not a building, but you. But it's going to be in Jesus said one day, the new heaven and the new earth, where ain't no sin going to be there. No trouble. Are you in the right yet? You better repair your sin and get in the right yet. Let Jesus put you in the kingdom. Repair your sin now. All right, that's enough of that. Thank you for viewing.